Don't disappoint me. Closer. Thank you. 
Now. Ah, it's you again. <laughs> a little better, thanks. Oh, and we owe it all to you. That's great. Seems like getting rid of the meteorites is doing the trick. Traveler, your arrival is most fortuitous. Clearly, my noble ambition to protect the souls of this wretched world compelled you to seek me once more. Now, prepare to depart. For we are soon to meet with an envoy of mine further afield. Envoy? You mean a, a diplomat or something? Ah, yes. Let me fill you in here. Someone brought a message from the Dawn Winery saying that a lady there by the name of Adeline invites you to meet with her as honored guests of the winery. Oh, we know Adeline. She's the head housemate there, right? Ah. It seems that you and Adeline are already acquainted, then. Then, it is my great honor to join you. Hey, so... Can you really understand that princess when she's talking? Because Paimon can't seem to understand a single word. All right, all right. My dear friends, it is time to move out. Paimon hopes Adeline has made some tasty snacks to welcome her honored guests with. Welcome to the Dawn Winery, dear adventurers. I'm Adeline, the head housemaid, and it is I who invited you all here. Thanks for the invite! You are Adeline? <laughs> Splendid. I am delighted to grant you the honor of joining me for afternoon tea. Dearest Adeline, on behalf of Her Majesty Miss Fischl, the Princess in de Verotalon, and I, mine Fräulein's humble servant, Thank you for inviting us. <sighs> Would you cut to the chase already? Your titles are so wordy it takes way too long to introduce yourselves. My goodness, an adventurer of such distinguished status. My pale-faced proselyte, how dare you interrupt a diplomat of the royal court in the middle of his speech? In fact, one of our employees here at the Dawn Winery a Mr. Hartman, fell victim to the meteorite incident in Springvale. I hear that you are the ones who disposed of the meteorites. Thanks to you, Mr. Hartman is now awake. We are in your debt. It is merely common courtesy that I should invite you over for tea. 
this aside, there is a separate matter which I should like to enlist your help with. Aw, you're too kind, Adeline. We're really just doing what any other adventurers would have done. You may now kneel before your princessin and make effusive display of your thanks for the favor that I have generously shown to thee in thy winery ken. <sighs> Take heart, my dear servants, for the glory of my majesty will flash eternal in the veil of springdom. Us! Hold off on the translation! Paimon wants to have a try this time. Um... So, what she's trying to say is, y you're welcome? I applaud your powers of comprehension, my dear Paimon. You decipher Mein Fräulein's royal utterances with remarkable ease. The business of the winery reaches not only to all of Mondstadt, but to all the corners of Lua, too. Some of our workers do regular deliveries back and forth between the two regions, a single round trip taking several days in total. Two of our delivery staff were due back yesterday, but as of this moment, I still have no contact from them at all. I worry that they became trapped somewhere when the meteorites struck. The winery is short-staffed at present, and I cannot afford to look for them myself. As audacious as it may be, all I can do is ask you for assistance. Okie dokie, don't you worry, Adeline. We're expert people finders. <sighs> Wonderful. I suggest you begin by asking around at Stonegate. All delivery staff pass through there on their return from Liwa. There were two carts in total, and the workers' names are Fritz and Ben. with wine. Have you seen them? Hmm. Sorry, I don't think so. Okay then, we'll keep asking around. What's the hurry? Hello, have you seen any Mondstadt merchants traveling through here? You know, the ones with all the wine? Ah, oh, I am afraid I have very poor eyesight. I'm not the right person to ask. Oh, uh, okay then. Hello, have you... Uh. Oh. What's the hurry? Hello. We're looking for a couple of carts, originally from Mondstadt. Have you seen them? From Mondstadt, you say? You know, I think I did see one pass through here. Really? Which way did it go? Let me think. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was going towards Mondstadt. Thanks, mister! Now to chase down that cart!
scared me half to death. Thanks so much. If you hadn't happened to be passing through this way, I would have been a goner for sure. <sighs> so, which one are you? Ben or Fritz? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm Ben. How did you know my name? Official search party. Per Adeline's wishes, we came here specifically to find you and ensure your well-being. Ah, uh, I suppose she must have started worrying because of the long delay. I'm afraid that Fritz's cart is stranded out on the main road between Dihua Marsh and Stone Gate. It got hit by a meteorite, so... <laughs> anyway, we agreed that I'd finish the delivery and then bring someone back to fetch him. I just hadn't factored in the part about getting ambushed by monsters along the way. <sighs> I really hope Fritz is okay. With me getting delayed here, the poor guy's been out there a long time. Now, I keep worrying that the same thing will have happened to him. Can you guys go bring him to safety? Between Stonegate and Dihua Marsh, right? Leave it to us! <laughs> Outrider Amber, reporting. <laughs>
Don't disappoint me. Come with me. Away, my pale faced proselyte, for a sharp pain now afflicts mine ogd of her. Is the guy on the floor sleeping? I believe so. I've tried everything, but he won't wake up. Looks like he touched the meteorite, just like the others. If by meteorite you mean the rock that struck the cart, <laughs> worry not. I have dealt with that already using my magic. But by others. Do you mean to say there are others who have fallen into a similar slumber? One has witnessed with one's own Ogd of Ertelung the nightmarish slumber that proceeds forth from the Valley of Demon Bone. It has caused great suffering for the humble peasants in the Vale of Springdom, many of whom still battle this wretched affliction even as we speak. As Main Fräulein most eloquently describes, we have just come from Mondstadt, where many people have also fallen into an unwaking sleep. Their symptoms are identical to those of this poor gentleman here. Is that so? It appears these meteorites really made quite an impact. Seems this guy is dressed like a winery worker. And we've already met Ben. So this one must be Fritz! Given that worker's attire has precious few distinguishing features, I must conclude that Paimon is blessed with exceptionally acute eyesight. Actually, Paimon's eyesight is normal. Paimon just has a really great memory. You're right, though. His clothes don't really stand out that much. Especially not compared to this guy over here. <laughs> and by this guy over here, you mean me. Yep. Paimon's never seen anyone dressed quite like you before. I am a vagrant from Inazuma. I had just stopped to assist this poor gentleman when you turned up. Are you investigating the aftermath of the meteorite strike? Yeah, we were sent to help out. I am Fischl, Prinzessin Dörfer Ertelung, responding to the cry of my people in their hour of need. 
I am Main Fräulein's humble familiar, Oz the Raven. And Paimon is an honorary knight of the Knights of Pavonius's best friend. Oh? Then you must be said honorary knight of said Knights of Pavonius. Behold my people, your beloved sovereign in the flesh. Do not despair, for judgment by thundering retribution is nigh. And it shall surely purge the seeds of nefarious nightmares that now sow chaos across the land. Um, excuse me? Don't mind her, just, you know, let her do her thing. Excuse me, what's going on here? Oh, great! Good thing you're here, Mr. Millilith. This guy's fast asleep and he won't wake up. Ah, it appears this is now in the hands of the Millilith. In which case, I am no longer needed. It was truly a pleasure to meet you all. I have other matters to attend to now, so I shall take my leave. Adventurers, I wish you every success in your endeavors. Bye-bye. So, what happened was, we came here looking for someone and found them... Thank you all for your cooperation. This victim is now in the care of the Millilith, and we will escort him safely to the Disaster Relief Station. Disaster Relief Station? You mean like a big tent with guards outside? Correct. We have established a Disaster Relief Station at Wangshu Inn, where the unconscious victims of the meteorite strike can receive due medical attention. A wise decision by the Millilith. Paimon can't stop worrying about poor Fritz. We should really go check up on him. <sighs> I suppose I shall deign to join you for one further excursion. Could it be true? What I've heard? If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. True. What I've heard. <sighs> it's hard to remain on dry land for so long. I never quite seem to get my land legs back. True. What I've heard. It's hard to remain on dry land for so long. Could never quite seem Could to get it my be land true? Legs back. What I've heard. Could it be true? What I've heard... A 
If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. Could it be true? What I've heard... If you ever want to trade tactics, Could I'm always ready. True. What I've heard. Could it be true? What I've heard... If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. Could it be true? What I've heard... Ah, cold beer after a hard day's work. Nothing like it. Could it be true? What I've heard... Ah, cold beer after a hard day's work. Nothing like it. Could it be true? What I've heard... If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. Could it be true? Uh, what I've cold heard. beer after a hard day's work. Nothing like it. Could it be true? <sighs> what I've heard. If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. Could it be true? What I've heard... If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always Could ready. Could be true? What I've heard... <sighs> 
Could it be true? What I've heard. It's hard to remain on dry land for so long. Never quite seem to get my land legs back. Could it be true? What I've heard. If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready.